Hey everyone, welcome back to Lair Academy. It's Mickey again, and in this series, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a newsletter widget. For the example, we have the available spot for a user to put in an email address, and you can see here we're displaying some information that they're going to need to verify their email address after they subscribe, and when they click the sign up, currently nothing happens. Um, let's take a look at the code through Sublime. You'll see everything is pretty basic. We have our views layout and then we have a app.blade, which is just the navigation and then yields of content. We also have the welcome page, which is actually just the widget itself. If we check out our routes, you can see we have the basic welcome route. We also have a sign up and a verify that accepts a hash. And I'll get to why this is an optional parameter at a later video. So if we're going to get started, one of the first things we'll do is look at our migrations. We'll have the two here by default. We have the create users table. And if we haven't done any migrations right now, we could just add our two new fields into this migration, such as email token and email verified. And let's change the string to a Boolean. Let's ensure that our email token can be nullable. And let's give a default value for our email verified as false. So this would be good if we haven't ran our migrations, but let's take a look at the off chance that we have already ran some migrations. So let's switch over to our console and do a PHP artisan migrate. And now that our tables are migrated, let's create a new migration. So we'll say PHP artisan make migration. Let's say alter user table, add newsletter fields. And then we'll do some bootstrapping and we'll say table equals user. Now let's open up that migration. And with the variables that we had before, let's paste them right into the schema. And just a little preference, I'm going to open up our user and copy the password field. Then we're going to make sure the email token comes after the password, and then email verified is going to come after my token. Let's finish up with doing the down part in case we have to roll back. And this is pretty easy. We'll just change the table string and boolean to a drop column and we'll just remove everything after our fields and save our file. Now with this migration saved, let's switch back to our console. I'll clear this and do a PHP artisan migrate. And you can see that now our migration has successfully been completed. I'll connect to MySQL just to do a test. And I'll make sure that I use the proper database. And then finally, I'm just gonna describe our table users here just to make sure our columns are in there. You can see we have our email token, email verified, as well as nullable, and the default is set appropriately. So the last thing we want to do is we want to just head on over to user.php and create a new protected variable for casts, in case you don't have it. And this is a variable that accepts an array, and we're going to tell it that email verified is a boolean. We'll just save this. And now everything on our database is set up. And if we need to check if an email is verified, we can just use true or false now. Well, thanks for watching this quick video, and we'll be sure to get back to making the widget in the next one. Thanks.